it going, class? Uh, just making a quick video here to get a couple things across that I wanted to that probably easier than just sending out an email. Um, so nothing new for work, uh, but just wanted to highlight some of the stuff you should be doing or if there's any confusion on anything. Um, so should be a really quick video. First thing is on the root words. This is a blank one, so hopefully yours is not blank. But make sure you're doing these each day. So it's yes, it's due Friday. There's a quiz on Friday. But you should be doing um, Monday's work on Monday, Tuesday's on Tuesday, etc. All right. So we're trying to, there's a lot of work out there that we throw to you. Um, and we want to make sure it's not just, oh, I have the week to do this. And also it's Thursday and you have a ton to do and you've been putting off work. So really keep to the schedule. So some people did not have anything done on this yet. And it is Wednesday at this point. So you should have already defined all these words. You should be studying them um, and not just cramming that on the last day. Um, second thing is on your Wonderopolis. So there's three this week, like I said earlier, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. They're all due Friday. I purposely made the pirate one start on Monday to give you the most time. Um, not because the writing's any longer, but because of the second part, which some of you maybe didn't see it because um, you already submitted it without doing this part. So it's, this link takes you to a little example on how to make a pirate face with a pirate, or pirate plate, with a paper plate, a lot of P words in there. Um, so yes, I know some of you said, I don't have a paper plate, so I'm just going to submit without it. Be creative, all right? So I made this pirate. Um, this is not a paper plate. This is a document from our classroom that tracks homework. So I turned that into a pirate face because I didn't have a paper plate either. So I used just some regular paper, colored pencils, markers, cut some shapes out, taped it on. Um, and this is my pirate face. All right. So just try to add some stuff. You're doing a lot of typing, a lot of reading, a lot of writing. So just this kind of connects with something, but in a fun artistic way. So really put the effort. So I gave you a full week to do that. So find what you can create something. Dylan, nice job uploading a picture on yours already. Um, that's the only one I've seen completed. So I'm hoping to see 19 more that uh, by Friday that are uh, kind of cool to see and I look forward to that. So make sure you're doing all the directions on here. Each one typically has two things on it. Um, <clears throat> lastly, the Mesopotamia. I'm sure to you a million times the Mesopotamia here. So the doc, the web quest is due today, tonight by 11.59. Um, and then we'll have a quiz on Friday. You can see it's already scheduled right here to go out on Friday. Uh, but make sure you get that turned in tonight. Some people still have not started it. Most of you have, 10 of you have turned it in, so I'm still 10 of you to go. It's still, again, it's not due till tonight, so it's not like you're behind or anything, but really make sure you should be doing social studies every day, reading every day, writing every day, uh, etc. So each subject should be happening each day. Uh, finally, one thing that I do to keep myself occupied in this time, um, other than school and reading, TV, all that, there's this game called Out of the Park Baseball 20. Um, I like to play. It's a game where you basically manage teams, not necessarily get out the controls and swing the bat for them, but you just organize the teams and um, run a team and try to see if you can win the World Series. So it's a really fun game for me, and it's fully customizable, so you can play like a regular baseball league, like this is just regular Major League Baseball, like real life. Um, but you can make your own team, you can make your own league, you can put 200 teams in a league if you want, you can put two teams in a league if you want, you can put five teams, you can create the players, you can change the rules, it's really, really cool, all the different stuff you can customize, um, and all the different pieces to the game that you can um, change, so what that means to you, you're probably like, okay, why is he telling me this? So I want to make a new league to play in. So I've been doing this one for a while, but I want to start a new one where I'm just going to have fully just all custom teams, all just created teams. So rather than use a real team like the Cincinnati Reds, I want to use a team that maybe you guys come up with. So I'm just asking for some creative name ideas, team name ideas um, that you can share with me. So it just has to have a city and a team name. So like Boston, Red Sox, Cincinnati Reds, etc. So a city and then a team name. And if I like them all, maybe I'll put one in there and I'll let you know that I put them in there. So nothing really you'll gain out of it, just kind of helping me out. So thanks for that um, if you're interested at all. Um, all right, so just put like a comment below, kind of like you did the guessing of the pop figure as well. So um, again, make sure you're cleaning your room, keeping that clean, getting along with your siblings, playing outside every once in a while when it's nice out. Um, and of course, make sure you hug your parents. All right, so I'll see you later. Bye.